Hi everyone, it's Lisa. I want to share a quick tip with you using the new Crafting Desert Divas inside scalloped um, square dies. And this is the dies here. And you also get that cute little coffee cup that I'm sure you've seen. Um, so, but I'm just going to be working with two of these. So I wanted to show them to you. So this is them upside down. They're stitched. They're scalloped. They're really nice. I love them. Okay, so we're going to be working with the two biggest ones. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using a pattern paper, a double-sided pattern paper. So this is from the Doodle Bug um, Here Comes Santa Claus paper pad. It's a 6x6 six six paper pad. You can get it at Crafting Desert Divas. It has really cute reindeer on one side. Flip it over. It's red and it has snowflakes on it. So this will be great for what I wanted to show you. You have your largest inside scallop square die. Just lay it down so that it's, you know, nice and straight. And I try to use as much of my paper as I can and not waste any of it. Okay, so now we're going to do the second frame inside. Now square this up the best you can so your sides are even. And that looks pretty good to me. And then you're going to run this through your machine. And I'm trying to do this without shaking the table. So this is the largest frame we have cut out here. Now, what we're going to do is this is the inside piece from where we cut these two frames. That's like the excess. You won't be using it. You are you normally wouldn't be using it. So here we go. So now here's what it came out like when we cut it. Now what we want to do, because we use double-sided paper that coordinates, is flip this one over. And look how pretty that does. Okay, and you can keep going with it if you want. You can add this one in this way. And they fit perfectly in each other. All you got to do is make sure you got them in there. So now you have this nice little frame that's been um, made and has that nice contrast which really makes it stand out. And then if you want you can even keep going and add this to it. But you see how that does? Now that's what I did with the card in the post today was I used double sided paper and I cut out candy canes and then a red stripe because I wanted to keep a candy cane themed or red and white theme since this says candy cane wishes. And so that's what I did with this was I cut out the candy cane paper using the two largest inside scallop square dies and then just took the extra piece out, flipped it over and framed it up. And I just thought that was a really fun way to use all of your paper and not waste it. So you could even, if you wanted to, just use this piece for framing or doing a shaker card or whatever. So you could just use this and put your acetate on here and then pop it up over this to make create your shaker card. Or you could just make your shaker card with just these two. Or just your frame. But you see how nice that looks? It's really pretty. So I wanted to share that with you guys and I hope you enjoy that tip and thanks for joining us and I'll see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.